Welcome to the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice mini boss guide where we will show you how you can beat the 7 Ashina Spears Shikibu Toshikatsu Yamoshi. Hey guys, welcome to the video and here we will take down 7 Ashina Spears Shikibu Toshikatsu Yamaoshi in the Ashina Reservoir by showing you some tips and tricks to defeat him and a brief showcase of his moveset so you know what to expect from the fight. Before we start the fight I will show you something extra on how you can defeat all the enemies before the mini boss in a very easy way so you won't have any trouble when you're fighting the mini boss and also how you can get a free health bar by doing a stealth death blow on the mini boss. So we are here at the idol at the start of the Ashina Reservoir. So you want to go here and skip the two wolves and the two guys and just grapple towards this one. You want to jump up this little wall and get the guy right here because he will alert the enemies if you're spotted. So go stealth right here and take out this gunman. And now you want to go to the left side and go underneath this house. And then get this gunman and be sure that the big guys are not watching this side while they're patrolling. So take the gunman down and go here. And you can just simply take this guy down because there is a little broken wall right here so they can't see you. Now you want to go back where you first took down the first gunman. So here there is going to be a third gunman right here and you want to take this guy down when the two big guys are not watching this side. So you can easily take him down without noticing. And then you want to take down the guy with the spear right here. It doesn't matter. The two big guys can't see you right here. You want to wait until the left big guy is moving backwards. And also this big guy has his back towards you so you can take him down without noticing. And just wait until the big guy comes this way and turns around so you can just do a stealth death blow on him so now he turns around so you just want to go towards him and take him down like this and there's also a guy on the right if you can see here so simply take him down this guy is the last one and now for the root how you can do a stealth death blow on a mini boss is basically the path you take from the prologue so you're probably familiar with this route. A quick note here, you can grapple up here and I say don't do this because then you grapple in the face of the mini boss and you can't do a stealth death blow then so don't grapple. Just follow the prologue path into the building. So this is how you get behind him for a stealth death blow. But before we fight him, let me give you a brief showcase of the moveset. So you know what to expect from the fight and how to counter him. He will be doing a leap attack to close the gap. And also may swing from the right side first, then leaps after to get to you. A simple knock back and a normal left and right swing. And follow this up with a vertical swing. When he is doing his helicopter swing above his head, he will follow this up with a heavy swing to knock you back. As a perilous sweep attack, so jump over it to avoid it. Now for the main attacks he will be doing, these are the perilous thrust attacks. He will do a normal perilous thrust attack, will sidestep first and follows it up with three thrust attacks in a row. And they charge perilous thrust attack. All three can be countered with the Mercury counter, you should have this skill up to this point. So you can dodge into the thrust attacks to counter them and do posture damage. After you do a successful counter against his thrust attacks, he will push you away or he will swing you right after, so be ready to deflect. A successful deflection will stagger him, leaving him open for an easy hit. And that is the easiest tactic for taking him down, counter the thrust attacks, deflect the swing right after and get some free hits in. So that was it for the move set. Now let us continue with the real fight and show you some more tips and tricks for beating the mini boss. We're back behind him now and we're going to take down a free health bar by doing a stealth death blow. I want to hit him after because he's still kind of staggered after you took the health bar down. With his sweep attacks, jump over them and kick him to do posture damage. Be aggressive on this guy. To do posture damage and he may spam the sweep attack so you can abuse them. For his thrust attacks, 
do the Mikiri counter and dodge into them to do posture damage. I'm sure to deflect swing after to let him stagger. So deflect the attack. Now he will stagger and you can get some free hits in. Still be aggressive. On sweep attack, jump over him to break posture. Keep it up like this and you should be able to get him very easily. But that was up the guide for the 7 Ashina Spears Shikibu Toshikatsu Yamaoshi. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. That will help out the channel, so thank you guys for that. And if you want more related gaming content like this one, then you can subscribe to the channel. But I thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.